Hello boys and girls and how are you? I hope you've been well and taking care of yourself. I hope you've been helping at home with the house chores. I want to welcome you to our chat school week. Our week begins today until Sunday and we are going to be having lessons on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I want you to enjoy and I want you to have fun. So we begin our lesson today. Today being our first day of the chat school week on a Monday. And before we begin, I want us to get prepared. I want you to go look for a place to sit, a place where you'll be able to enjoy listening to the lesson. So prepare yourself as I count one up to ten. Look for a place where you can sit and also get your Bible. So here I go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I know you're ready to hear the word of God. My name is Teacher Miriam, and I'm going to take, I'll be your teacher today. I'll take you through the lesson. Let us pray. Let us talk to God first before we begin our lesson. Loving Father, we want to thank you for today. We want to thank you that you have enabled us to wake up early and that God you are with us throughout the night. We are so thankful. And now as we begin our chat school week, we want to thank you for today's lesson. We pray that you help us understand what we are going to learn and you're going to help us uh, to do the things that we learn today. Dear Father, we are sorry for the things we have said and we have done and we have thought. We ask that you would forgive us and help us to be good boys and girls who listen to our parents and who listen to our guardians. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the gift of this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not to in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Boys and girls, today we have an exciting, exciting uh, Bible lesson. And today... Our Bible lesson is, can you read a loved child? Our Bible lesson is about a loved child, a child who is loved. And our Bible story comes from the book of Luke chapter 11 verse 32. Our lesson is a loved child. And our Bible story comes from the book of Luke chapter 15 and verses 11 to 32. This is a story about a lost son. About a lost son. A son who got lost. Boys and girls, I would want to ask you a question. Have you ever done something wrong? Have you ever done something wrong? I know we have all we have all done something wrong. Maybe you have taken you have eaten honey that you are not supposed to eat, you've eaten sugar you are not supposed to eat. You have lied here and there. Yes. Yes. We have all done something wrong. Now, boys and girls, think about a time when you did something wrong and probably your mother or your father or your auntie got to know about it. What happened? What happened? When you are told to put away your toys and you did not put away your toys and your mom or your auntie came and found out you've not put away the, the toys. What happened? Were you spanked? Were you given a punishment? Were you scolded? What happened? When you do something wrong, what do you expect will happen? When you're told to keep away your toys, when you're told not to do that 
thing that you're doing that is bad and you continue doing it, what happened? Yes, your mom pinches your ears or your auntie pulls your ears or you're given a punishment because the person who has told you not to do knows why he's telling you, knows why he or, he or she is telling you not to do it. Because when you continue doing it, it is wrong and it may, it, it may hurt you. And so, um, uh, when you do something wrong, you get punished. Yes, you, will, you get a punishment because that person will not be happy. Either your ears will be pulled or you'll be told to, to not play with the toys again or you'll be told not to go not to go out and play with your friends. Our Bible story is about a young man who did something wrong to his dad. He did something wrong to his father. The young man expected the worst. Boys and girls, let's see what happened. This young man did something wrong. And just like I have asked, when you do something wrong, what will happen to you? So let us see what happened to this young man. Now Jesus told a parable. Jesus told a parable about a man who had two sons. Now, a parable is a story. It's simple, a simple story to help you understand something or a lesson. So Jesus told a parable of a man who had two sons. And he knew, this old man knew, that one day he was going to die. He was going to be old and he was going to die. And because he knew he was going to die uh, and, he, and he had a farm and he had two sons, he, dis he knew that one day he was going to divide his, uh, his land, his property and his money amongst his two sons he knew that he was going to uh, divide his his money and his land amongst his two the young son was very impatient he couldn't wait he couldn't wait for this money that his father would give him and so he went and asked his father to divide all the money up and give him his part his father divided his money and gave some to his youngest son. And what did the youngest son do? As you can see, the youngest son left home. You can see he's carrying his bag, he's carrying his belongings. So the younger son took all the money that he, that he was given and he left home. And where did he go? Now, he went to live in another far away country, away from his home. And he bought everything that he wanted. He, he bought everything that he wanted. He went to stay far away, far away from his home. And he bought everything that he wanted. He spent all his money on parties. And you know what? When you have a lot of money, these people liked him. People will like you. People liked him because he had a lot of money. And he spent all of it on what? On parties. You can see the picture there. He's having a good time with his friends and he's enjoying himself. Then, one day, in that far country where he had gone, there was farming. Do you know what a famine is? There was no food to eat. When there is a famine, there is no rain. And when there is no rain, there is no food to eat. There was no food for this young man to eat. And what did he do? There was no food to eat and his money was finished. 
So the son got a job working for a man who owned pigs. He got a job working for a man who owned pigs. His work was to feed pigs. Oh, poor young man. He left his wonderful home. He went to a faraway country. And now there is famine. And he has wasted his money on, part, on parties and other people. Now he has to work feeding pigs. And because there was no money, and he did not have money to buy food. Imagine boys and girls, he ate the food that the pigs were eating. He ate, the son was so hungry that he wished he would eat the food the pigs were eating. Because he was very hungry, he didn't have money to buy. He didn't have money to go and buy food. So he wished, oh, if only I could eat this, this, this pig food. The young man started to think about what he had done. He knew that he had been wrong to ask his father for his own money, for his money. Then the son went back home. He sat and wondered, what do I do? Then the son went back home. He was sorry for what he had done. Now his father always looked outside to see if his son was coming. Every day his father would look out and see if his son was coming. Every day he would go out and look out. Is my son coming? Is my son coming today? Then one day his father saw his son coming. And he ran with a lot of joy and a smile on his face. When he saw his son getting close, he ran to him and he put his hands around him. And he was very, very happy to see his son. And his son was so thin because he did not have food to eat. And he worked, he worked in, in a man's home where there were pigs. His work was to give pigs food. So he's, he had become so thin. His clothes were so torn. You can see in the picture there, this man running towards his son to see, because his lost son had come. He was so happy. Look at this old man, so happy. His father was very happy to see him. To see his son, he put his hands around him. Then his father told the servants to cook a big dinner and bring the best robe for his son. And also put a ring on his finger and special sandals on his feet. Oh, he was so happy. He was so happy to see his son who was lost that he has come back. The son who was lost, he has come back. Boys and girls, just like this young man, he asked for his money and he told his father, I want you to divide this land and divide the money, give me what is mine. And he left to a very far country and he used his all his money, he used all his money in parties. And his money got finished. And then there was a famine. And he became very hungry. And he got a job feeding the pigs. And one day he sat and thought to himself, What did I do? I am going back to my father. And he went back home. And when his father saw him, he was very happy. He was very happy. And he put his hands around him. And he told his servants to make a big dinner and bring him sandals and a ring. Sandals for his feet and a ring. When we do something wrong, boys and girls, we don't have to be afraid that God will stop loving us. Whenever you feel bad about something wrong you did, you can freely go to God because God loves you and he will forgive you. When you do something wrong, when you have been told do not go out and play. 
and you go out and play. Go, don't think that God will stop loving you. Our Father in heaven, boys and girls, does not stop loving us. He continues to love us. But he wants us to tell him we are sorry. He wants us to tell him we are sorry for the bad things that we have done. And he will forgive you. Knowing that God forgives us, we are very happy. Just like the way when you go to your mother or your guardian, whoever you live with, and you tell them, you know, you told me to take away my toys and I did not take away my toys. Please forgive me. Just the way your mommy or your daddy or your guardian or your auntie forgives you, it is the same way when we go to God, we ask God to forgive us, he forgives us. He forgives us because he loves us. He loves us so much. So never think that when you go to God or when you have done something bad, that God will not forgive you. God will always forgive us. So boys and girls, what I want us to do is to pray and ask God to forgive us. Is there anything you'd want God to forgive you about? Have you said a bad word? Have you done something that does not please God? Or have you done something that your parents are not happy about? Let's close our eyes, each one of us, and talk to God and ask God to forgive you. So boys and girls, I want us to pray. So let us pray. Dear God, I thank you because when we come to you, you forgive us our sins. Dear Lord, I have done bad things, things that have made my parents unhappy. I ask that you forgive me. Forgive me and help me to do the right thing all the time. I thank you because of my parents or my guardians for when I say I am sorry and I tell them I am sorry, they forgive me. And when I tell you I am sorry, you also forgive me. Help me to be a good boy, to be a good girl who knows you, who loves you. And Jesus, I want you to be my friend so that I'll always be doing good things, so that I'll be doing good things that make you happy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, boys and praying that prayer and every time you do something that is not right always go to God and ask God for forgiveness now our memory verse for today is the Lord is gracious slow to anger Psalm 145 verse 9 the Lord is gracious and slow to anger the Lord is gracious slow to anger. The Lord loves us so much and when we tell him we are sorry, he does not get angry with us. Yes, he's not happy, but when we go and tell him, Lord Jesus, forgive me. I am sorry. He is gracious. Psalms 145 verse 1. So boys and girls, this week I want to remind you that God loves you and is faithful our God is such a good God. And when you um, ask God to help you uh, to be a good boy and to be a good girl, God always does that. So this week, I want you always, as you pray, to go before God and ask him for forgiveness when you do something wrong. I wish you a beautiful week and I wish you God's blessing. Remember that you are a loved child. Remember that God loves you so much. And when you go to him and tell him you are sorry, God will forgive you. God forgives us. So let us say the words of grace together so that we end our Bible lesson for today. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, goodbye and see you again 
on Wednesday. Be ready to listen to another exciting Bible story on Wednesday, God willing. So God bless you. Say hi to your siblings. Say hi to your parents or your guardians. Bye-bye.